good morning. <laughs> I've been showing y'all my day in the life, so whatever, what I do in the day and stuff like that, and I'm going to continue it. But today, starting out a little different. Normally, I get up and get me a shower, get dressed, and all that good stuff. Been doing good. I'm telling you, it seems like every time I try to do something and I do good at it, some always try to hold me back. So, last night, I went to bed pretty early, but I woke up this morning. It was like two, like two something. When I woke up, I was in excruciating. I got to try to say the word because that's what it was. I was in excruciating, if that's how you see it, pain. When I tell you I was in so much pain, my my side, my my inner left thigh, my oh, I was so sore, y'all. Like I about couldn't get out of bed. Got up, went to the bathroom. I was hurting so bad. Like my husband couldn't even put his arm on my side. That's how bad I was hurting. So I get my pillows and stuff. I try to lay down. I couldn't lay down. I could. I just couldn't lay down like I was laying down because when I lay on one side, it had like just from gravity pushing down the side that was hurting. Um, it it was it was hurting real bad just to lay down on my side. Then I tried to lay on the side that was hurting, and it was just hurting to put the pressure on it. So then I tried to lay on my back. I can't sleep like that. So I tried to lay on my stomach and I sleep on my arm. I sleep on my arm. It was hurting just to stretch it. So I'm, um, and then I tried to lay and then laying on my stomach. I tried, you know, my inner thigh is hurting in the crease, you know. So I couldn't get comfortable because that was hurting. So I'm hurting on the right side in my rib cage, on the left side in my thigh. So I just couldn't lay no kind of way. <laughs> just just messed up. So I um get all my pillows and stuff and stack them up behind me and get my husband pillow, put it behind me and try to get to sleep or whatever. Like that. I probably dozed off, but I really didn't get no sleep after that. So I got up this morning about five, got on up out of bed, made the bed, and, you know, um, just came in here and got on the chair and brushed my teeth, got in here on the chair, because I was like, you know what, I'm not going to lay around in that bed, because I really don't want to mess up my sleeping schedule. I like going to bed early, because I like, I like when I can get in the bed about seven and be asleep at least by nine. Like, I've been asleep by nine, at least by nine. So, I've been liking that because I get up at least about, um, I get up, I get up about, when I, when I really just wake up, it probably be by, sometimes it be like three something, going on four, really like close to four in the morning, or it be like four, 45, I get up about five, 15. So every morning I've been up just about 5.15. And I like doing that because once I get up, my feet hit the floor. I spend time with God. I get myself together. Well, I get myself together, spend time with God. And, you know, um, uh, uh, then get my day started. You know, start doing my, doing my, doing my do. I'm getting everything done. And so I like that by the time I'm finished, it's like, uh, uh, like two thirty, something like that. At the latest, I'm done by two thirty. So I'm I've been loving that because compared to being um up all night and then getting a late start in my day, and I'm still going probably by seven eight o'clock at night. Like so it's been nice being able to get in the bed early and getting up early and getting everything done early like i've been loving that so even though i've been up early this morning i said that i'm going to stay up 
and uh could be and I don't want to sit here and go to sleep neither. But I took me some pain pills or whatever and I'm just sitting here to the pain ease off because I do want to go into my craft room and I want to um straighten it up because it, it has no it's it's not even organized enough because of from the holidays whenever I had the table at my room and I was what the world? Somebody bust her ties? Hold on. Okay, y'all, I had to, I had to, <laughs> I had to see something real quick. But anywho, um, so, whew, excuse me. So, yeah, I'm going to sit here. I took my pain pills and everything, and hopefully it ease off. And, um, I get to feeling better because I want to get into my room over there and um straighten it up because like i said the table at the table that i do my crafting and stuff on um it's just propped up against the wall from the holidays whenever we was using it for you know i was using it for entertainment and stuff like that so i need to get that room back together and um get in there and really just clean it up you know like sweep the floor and all that good stuff vacuum and all that good stuff so that was my plans for today and i am being thrown off but maybe i need to sit here for a minute the lord like you know what um, job well done, my child. You know, job well done. Get you a little break today. Which I didn't want to take a break today. I want to take my break tomorrow. I want to take my break tomorrow. I was gonna, I was gonna enjoy tomorrow, but I still am. I just want, but I just gotta, um, just I'm just gonna have a later start. So once my pain feels kick in and I get to feeling a little better where I can move around and I um and, and, and not be sore then that's when I'm gonna get up. But um when I got up, I showed my husband, I was like, Babe when I woke up, I was like, Babe, feel like somebody beat me up. He just jumped up out his sleep, like, What? I said, Feel like somebody beat me up. He was like, Girl, I'm right here with you. He was like, Ain't nothing ain't nothing happen to you. I was like, No, it feel like somebody beat me up. But let me tell you what I think it was. So when we fell to sleep last night, we just had um fell off to sleep. And um when I make my bed, I prop all the pillows up. So that's how we fell to sleep on the pillows. And so um well I'm not really gonna say that's how I fell to sleep on the pillows, but my end of the pillow, because we got this long pillow that's in the back of our pillows, and so I took my end of the pillow and laid it down and laid my pillows down, but I laid on top of all three of the pillows. And so I guess by his end still being propped up, he fell asleep like that with all his pillows still propped up against the headboard. And I guess still, I don't know, maybe for me sleeping on those pillows or I don't know, but I just know that I think that um, sleeping on all those pillows is what got me so this morning. So anywho. When I got up, I had showed him. I was like, babe, look. So, I got a, actually, I got a bruise on my side. And I believe, I don't think that bruise has already been there. Because right where I'm sore at is right where the bruise is at. So, I got a bruise on my side. And um, I was like, babe, look. I was like, see, I told you my side hurting. And um, I was like, look, I got a bruise there. So, he was like, yeah, I see you got one. But yeah, so y'all, child, when I tell you I'm in pain this morning, <laughs> I'm in pain, but I'm going to get better. So I'm going to um, check back in with y'all in a little bit. Uh, hopefully I'll be up and um, dressed and looking cute and be done. I already got my room together and stuff like that and doing the next part of my day, whatever that may be, because... I don't have much planned for myself today, but do my room, I did pretty much everything I needed to do all week. So today, only thing I wanted to do was my room. That's all I assigned myself to today was do my room. So, yeah. And I got all the lingerie folded up yesterday and put up. I was so proud of myself. I got all the lingerie folded up, put up. Because, you know, like, being on the schedule that I was on, I was like, they ain't no clothes. You know, I be done wash them, and they just be sitting around in the baskets because my time 
I wasn't taking it. I wasn't using my time wisely. So now that I'm using my time wisely, I have more time to do what I need to do. And I've been enjoying that. So I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. You know what? I just thought about something. I'm sitting here thinking and I was like, oh, uh, nah, it's not. Nah, nah, I don't know if this could be wrong. So, but I was thinking to myself, I'm like, well, uh, two days ago, I was moving furniture. I was moving my couches and stuff in the living room and I had to kind of like lift them and all that stuff like that. And uh, also moving furniture around in my husband's room, even though it's just chairs, but still, I had to, you know, I was doing that kind of work and stuff um, uh, two days ago. So I was thinking to myself, I'm like, it didn't bother me none at all the next day or that night when I went to bed. And I'm like, it's my, is it just, is it just catching up with me now or something? Uh, you know, since, uh, you know, last night or whatever, this morning, whatever, whenever I started hurting. But when I woke up like two Sundays this morning, I was hurting. So I'm like, is it just now catching up with me? The reason why I'm, you know, hurting or whatever. But do that make sense? If it was two days ago, not yesterday, but day four yesterday, I was doing all that moving furniture around and stuff. So that might be why I'm so, my body probably just catching up with me, you know? I've been busy all week long, and my body might just be catching up with me. That could be what, what it is. Cause, but then again, like I said, it might be them pillows, because I'm telling you, like, I don't, the same way that I feel, well, not in my crease. I don't know why the crease of my leg hurting. That that don't make no sense for the crease of my leg be hurting. So, I don't know. But, like I said, it might be the pillows. It might be the pillows, then it could be that. But I just thought about that. That I was in a, um, I was moving furniture around two days ago. Alrighty, y'all. Whoop. But I ain't feeling all the way better yet. Like, the pain easing up just a little bit. I believe I'm going to have to take me probably like one more round of pain pills. So, so, yeah, and I might be all right then, but I'm gonna fix me some breakfast. I'm gonna cook some um, fish and grits. I got my grits going right now. My grits going, and they're um, about to clean up my fish. So I done seasoned up my fish already. I mean, my my my, my flour for the fish. I done seasoned it up, but I ain't um I haven't cleaned my fish yet. So I got the sturdy grits over here real quick. Let me get those. Sure that ain't nothing. Go ahead and cook me a little milk in here. A little bit more water. And the grits. Grab a little milk. Yeah, that's what I'm having this morning. I'm making fish and grits in memory of my my mom's mom when I was a little girl I used to stay in her house every morning for breakfast we had fish and grits 
every morning. And I was just talking to my mama the other day about that. And I'm like, you know, I was young when my grandma passed away. But I told her, I was like, you know, I'm glad that I did get a chance to know her and remember certain things about her. Because she wasn't here long with us. You know, she passed when I was young. Probably way before I was even... Probably before I was even... I'm going to say nine years old. Yeah, so... I was... I'm making some fish and grits and remember us of my grandma. So... I got me some cat, and I was telling my mama about that. My mama was like, yeah, mama loves fish and grits. That was, that was her favorite. I was like, yes, that's one thing that I do remember. I said, I remember her having her fish and grits. Every morning she cooked us some fried fish and some grits. And, um, and she'll go outside and throw the birds some bread and this was something that she did faithfully every morning and so then I remember like the little um what nots that she had and that's what I was telling my mom about the little what nots that she had she had like these little itty bitty what nots like little dogs a baseball cap all kind of stuff like that. Mom was like, yeah, she had that when I was growing up too. And um, she was like, I used to hate that she had those little things. She told me because she always made me get in there and dust them. And then I be throwing, she said, but I used to throw them away. Little by little, I was like, Mom, what? I, she was like, but she remember everything she had. All the little ones that she had, she know. She knew what something was missing. So I was like, Mom, I was like, she, um, <laughs> Well, she used to um, go back and fix some No, then she was like, I said, well, she, you cleaned them and she put them up. She was like, no. She told me something. I, I cleaned them. I had to put them back up, but she'll go back in there and rearrange them the way that she wanted them. So, I was like, oh, she told me something. And then, whenever she knows the one missing, where my such and such at? She, she knew all of them whatnot. And so, she was like, I don't know what my mama wanted. With all those little bitty things, but she loved her whatnot for whatever. So I guess that was her little bit of decor or whatever. So, yeah. We were talking about her the other day. And so when I thought of what I was going to eat this morning, I'm going to eat me some fish and grits. And remember that stuff, my grandma. So. So I got me some catfish nuggets. I had them soaking over here in some vinegar water while they were thawing out. So now I'm just rinsing them off. And um, rinse them off. Now I'm about to season them. Pan on with my oil. So in my cornmeal, I put me some um some self rising cornmeal. Put some self frozen cornmeal and some uh my seasonings I used was some seasoning salt and I'm gonna put this back up here because I'm gonna refill it. Some seasoning salt, some onion powder, garlic powder, um I use some um 
I use some of this adobo seasoning. I put some of that in there. Um, and I put a lot of cayenne pepper because I want to give the fish like a little spice taste to it. Yeah, I want to get a little spicy taste. So, I'm going to use those same seasonings along with a little mustard and some hot sauce. Let me come over here. Cause... Yeah. I'm going to come over here. Dance around the kitchen. This is my seasoning cabinet. Huh? I be over there so much I need to put my seasonings over there. But yeah, hold on. Uh, I was thinking to myself if I wanted to add me some curry to it, to the seasoning. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put some mustard. And I love to eat my fish with mustard on it. Um, hot sauce. I'm going to add some of this uh, bubble seasoning. I kind of feel like I want to sprinkle some of this on top of it after it's done, just to see what it tastes like. Some garlic powder. I just started using this adobo seasoning, so I really don't know what it tastes like. Um, some seasoning salt. Onion powder. And then we're going to put some cayenne on the fish too, to spice it up. Hopefully, give it, give it that spice that I want. Just a little. I don't want it too, too hot. But I do more. <coughs> what my cayenne pepper at, child? What did I do with you? What do I do with cayenne pepper? Sprinkle the salt. Mm. 
I would think to myself, I say, hmm, what's the best? Uh, me, I have two grandmas that love fish. I can't do that that child. Drop a load, drop a load. Good. I'm cooking fish that regular. I know this will be real good. You know, we don't have so much time to be so good when you make it. Like, I love salad. And when I do have a salad, baby, that salad be like, oh, the best thing ever. Like, I don't be needing nothing but my salad. Frying pretty good over here. I'm gonna let that good just fry. Run that little dish water here. Chicken that I took out yesterday, ooh, that chicken was so good, y'all. Baby enjoyed it. There's some teriyaki chicken that I had marinated. Oh, yeah, uh, not marinated, but I had cooked and freezer prep. You took that bill out, and baby, it was Right on time with that ice. Why am I talking about ice? Right. Right on time with that rice.
one with the dish with it. Alright, let me check this fish. Roll that duck on over. Looking good. Crispy like I like it. My grits, I made them a little too loose. So that's why I got the lid off on. Stand with this heater, just run, 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 don't turn off. Honey, the whole time I be thinking about a light bill, just a light bill, a light bill. Lord, I pray my light bill don't be too expensive. I paid this month for last month. You know, we always a month behind. Um, it was almost $400. 400 For the night bill. Ridiculous. They ain't that deep for this one, man. I know ain't that high for real, for real. For real. These folks don't care nothing about we got to survive. They don't, care, they don't care about us surviving. We better make a way with what they're saying. They do not care about us. And it's sad that we got to go through this. And then the thing about it is the cost of living, I mean the, um, the, the minimum wage and stuff like that ain't even going up, but the cost of living is steady rising, steady rising like how do you expect people to live on, 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 what is minimum wage like? Is it seven something? I think minimum wage is actually seven something, y'all. Uh, I think it is. Because I looked it up, and I thought that my eyes was just lying to me. Or maybe I just ain't find the right information. But here, minimum wage is seven dollars and something. Like, if a person is working and they making minimum wage and living in, in this world today and paying these prices that we got to pay for stuff, I don't see how they making it. I don't see how they making it because ain't no way. Ain't no way that they can 
make that much and survive. Like, for real. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm getting behind y'all real quick. I gotta put this can up. But it's, it's ridiculous. But, this is our reality. This is our reality. This is what we got to go through. And it's sad. Okay, my grits, they picking it on up. Put some cheese in them. I don't want to put cheese in them right now because it's going to loosen it back up, that milk and no cheese. Take this here. See what it's here. Catfish could be so fatty though. I don't be liking that little fatty. Fatty in this home. I mean, it'd be fatty. Especially the bigger it is, mm. black seeds and that good. Mm. Don't taste the spice. I think I taste a little bit. Just a little bit. Mmm, but I think it's good. That's good, though, y'all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think it's just a little bit. It's coming on through now.
Papa. Cheese and cheese and I like sliced cheese in my grits. I don't really care for that. Shredded cheese because it don't taste right. Uh, I like the creaminess that the sliced cheese give it. Put in my grits butter. Child, how I gonna cook some grits? I ain't put no butter in the grits. Child, I'm slipping on my pippin. But they was good though. Some water, get my hot sauce, get my mustard. Mess up another plate. ketchup today. That's my breakfast, y'all. Slash lunch. Right up. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Probably just a second for you. As you can see, I enjoyed my fish. That's just little crumbs with the fat and them little empty pieces of crumbs. I, I pull crumbs off, child. Anywho. Didn't really even use the ketchup and the mustard. But I use more ketchup than the mustard. And I couldn't even eat the grits, child. Look, the grits was already watering. But look at them now. Child, they so soupy. Putting that cheese in there, the cheese made it more waterier than what it Child, just look at it. I couldn't eat that. 
so I didn't even eat my grits. But the fish was good. The fish was good. So, at least I ate something. Well, I ended up in the hospital, y'all. Waiting on them to see what's going on with me. I done been here for like three hours now. The pain that I was having um, in my side just kept getting worse and worse. It had to move from my side to my back to across my stomach. Making it hard for me to breathe. And any movement, it was just painful. So I came to see what was wrong with me. Even if it was just a it is just a um a um pull muscle or whatever it is. I wanna know what's wrong with me. And then at least I can get me some pain medicine or something because this pain is when I tell y'all this pain is so bad this pain is bad and the scary part about it is like when I'm when I'm moving and it hurts so bad like I can only really like just take short breaths I can barely breathe so I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I couldn't, and then trying to lay on my stomach tonight and go to sleep. Like, last night, I slept on my stomach, and it was fine. But tonight, trying to sleep on my stomach, I couldn't. Trying to lay on my side, I couldn't. Trying to sleep in the chair, I couldn't. Trying to sit up, I couldn't. And laying like this now, it's hurting my back hurt in my back. You see how I'm got them little short little breaths? Barely can barely can yell at. But it's hurting y'all. I don't know. I don't know what I did. But if I pull something or whatever, I ain't had no knowledge that I did it the day of. I was in this pain two days later, like I said. two days later so this is um actually two days after the video that i did at first at home tell me all about it i don't know if i'm gonna combine combine these videos but um yeah this is two days later and i'm over in the hospital y'all i hope they come on and figure out what what's going on so they had me go and um, pee in the cap or whatever so they can get me urine. And the lady, they they just wasn't even on their job and doing what they're supposed to do to where um, they didn't even go in the bathroom to get my pee. And the lady went in the bathroom to clean the bathroom and, and dumped it out. So I know telling how long I'm going to be here. But I'm in pain, y'all. I, I'm in so much pain. It just don't make no sense. I never, I don't think I ever felt no pain like this. I take that back. I have. But still, this is just uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, and it's just scary that I can barely breathe. Oh, Jesus. So, I just wanted to check in to let y'all know that I ended up coming to the hospital. This is the same day we went to the flea market. So, this is Saturday. Same day we went to the flea market. I ended up in the hospital. I was fine. But when I was at the flea market, I said I was fine. Like, it felt like, you know, um, the pain wasn't getting was it there as much but i believe what it was is before i went to the flea market i rode down with some icy hot and i had took me some ibuprofen so while i was out and about the um pain pills had on kicked in so i wasn't feeling the pain as much but when that pain when that medicine wore off baby when i tell you 
I was catching it. So, you know, hopefully they come off. I hope they, I hope they um, do some x-rays or something so they can see. That's what I'm hoping they're doing because I hope they ain't just sitting around waiting just to do no urine. Ain't nobody set up no blood or nothing. They just been taking my blood pressure. I don't know what they got going on, y'all, but I guess I'll keep y'all updated. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm back home. I was in the hospital for like six and a half hours. No, seven hours. Seven hours in the hospital. Most of the time just laid up. So they did x rays and stuff and um of my rib cage and my back and my chest area to see if anything was wrong and um they find that there was uh, it was nothing wrong um everything looked good and uh um they were saying that I must have pulled the muscle or whatever so they had given me some uh, they had given me some pain medicine. They gave me one of each shot, muscle uh, I wanted each a shot of each arm, um, a muscle relaxer and a uh, um, pain medicine. And so that helped my body to relax. And I did get a little rest while I was in there, but um, and so it helped a lot. But now I just gotta go. Um, well, I sent my husband to go get my prescriptions um, so I could take my pain pills. So they put me on some muscle relaxers and they put me on some um, 500 milligram ibuprofen to be taken. So I want to go ahead on and get those in my system before this medicine wear off because those pains that I was feeling last night, I do not want to feel that today. So... Yeah, but I just wanted to update y'all with what was going on and stuff. And um, that y'all ain't got to be worried about me. I just got a full muscle.